The following video is for information purposes only and demonstrates the post-installation configuration process of an Intellicon HW Plus and LCH control. For more details, please reference the programming section in the provided instructions. This video does not replace the technical training provided to our certified installers. Intellidon controls should only be installed and configured by qualified professionals. First, turn on your Intellicon HW Plus control. Please note, all programming is accomplished by plugging and unplugging the sensor in response to prompts on the LCD display. There is a countdown timer associated with most prompts. If the sensor is not plugged or unplugged in response to these prompts, that will be considered a no response by the system. If there is no response, the parameter will remain unchanged. To enter configuration mode, the controller must be powered up without any sensors connected. When prompted, insert a water sensor plug into the domestic sensor connector. To confirm, remove the plug when prompted. The unit will then indicate that it has entered the configuration mode. Reset defaults. This parameter will reset all of the programmable parameters to factory defaults. It will not clear any of the accumulators. The following screens are for field diagnostics only and do not apply to the configuration process. Reset Savings. This parameter will clear the average savings accumulator. Reset Econ Timer. This parameter will clear the economizer time accumulator. Reset Runtime. This parameter will clear the runtime accumulator. Pre-purge. This parameter indicates the pre-purge time currently programmed into the controller. The default value is 0 seconds. Next, you'll be prompted to change by inserting the sensor plug within 10 seconds. If not inserted within 10 seconds, the controller will advance to the next configurable parameter. If inserted, you'll be prompted to force a burner call, typically done by increasing the set point of the operating control, the thermostat and or aquastat. Then remove the sensor when the burner fires. For degrees Celsius or for degrees Fahrenheit, the controller will prompt you to change to whatever value is not currently selected. The default value is Fahrenheit. Heating low limit. This parameter is used by the controller to set the low limit temperature for the heating water. The default value is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. When the heating water temperature goes below the setting, the controller will no longer attempt to achieve any savings and will return control to the operating control. To change this setting, plug in the sensor when prompted.
For demonstration purposes, we will be setting the heating low limit to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. For recommended settings, please see the written instructions. If you made a mistake or wish to change your heating low limit again, you can reconfigure now. Domestic Low Limit This parameter is used by the controller to set the low limit temperature for the domestic hot water. The default value is 115 degrees Fahrenheit. When the domestic water temperature goes below this setting, the controller will no longer attempt to achieve any savings. To change this setting, plug in the sensor when prompted. Max Econ This feature of the controller is to limit the maximum amount of time that the controller is allowed to remain in the economizer mode. The default value is disabled. Econ Timer Off This parameter controls whether or not the economizer time accumulator is displayed. The default value is on. Run Time Off this parameter controls whether or not the burner runtime accumulator is displayed. The default value is on. Maximum standby. This feature of the controller is to limit the maximum amount of time that the controller is allowed to remain in the standby mode. The default value is 180 minutes. If a heating call is not sensed within the prescribed time period, the timer will expire and the control will take itself out of the circuit. To change this setting, plug in the sensor when prompted. The indicated value will be what is currently set in the controller. Eye saving off. This parameter controls whether or not the instantaneous savings is displayed. The default value is off. A saving off. This parameter controls whether or not the average savings accumulator is displayed. The default value is on. After the last parameter is reached, there will be a brief delay and the controller will reset. During this time, the sensor should be reconnected or the controller will attempt to go into the configuration mode again. This concludes the programming of your Intellicon HW+.